Let not your hearts be troubled Believe in God, believe also in me Oh, also in me Let not your hearts be troubled Hi everyone, are you all ready to learn something from God's Word today? Well, let's warm our brains up. Are you ready? Let's pray. One, two, three. Dear God, thank you that we can come again to your Word and thank you that we can learn. Thank you that we can learn about you and what you're like. And I pray that today you will speak to us. Help us to listen and help us to understand and help us after this to apply what you have to say to us. Amen. Now remember, last week we learnt about when the Holy Spirit came to live in the first believers. Can you remember this from last week? They were all in one room, waiting. They didn't know what to expect. They just had to wait. Can you remember what happened next? Suddenly a huge gust of wind came from heaven. A violent rushing of wind filled the room. The whole house was full of this wind. Everyone was sitting and suddenly, above their heads, appeared what looked like flames of fire resting on each of their heads. Who was heads. it that came? Just like the dove shows the Holy Spirit brings peace, fire shows that the Holy Spirit brings power. They spoke a different language, a different language started to come out of their mouths. A language that could be understood by everyone. As the hundreds of people began to gather around the house, they were all amazed. They couldn't understand how they could all hear their own language being spoken at the same time. Do you remember this? Peter stood up, and not in a quiet voice, but in a loud voice, he began to speak so that everyone could hear. The Holy Spirit was speaking through Peter, telling the people of their sin, and how Jesus died and Jesus rose again. The Holy Spirit was telling the people, 
True. Can you remember the result? That day, listen to this, 3,000 people were added to the believers. The Holy Spirit came to live in each of their lives and he began to change them in incredible ways, making them into the people that God designed them to be. They were on fire and they had a message that was going to change the world. Let's review our Bible verse now from last week. Peter said to them, Change your hearts and lives and be baptised, each one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 You try it. If you're finding it a bit difficult, try the part that's in red. If you fancy a challenge, try and do the whole thing. Next week, we're going to have a look at what it means to be baptised. Now, here's our first big question of the week. Who is the Holy Spirit? Now, the Bible teaches there is only one God. But as we look at God revealed through the Bible, we see that within God, there are three persons called the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. They are all in nature God, but they're all different from one another. Often when we see God speaking in the Bible, we see that he says, let us make man. Let us go down. This is hard for us to really get our heads around, but we must remember that God is not like us. He's so big and our puny minds cannot fully comprehend because he's so much greater than us. Now here I have one rope, but when I look carefully at this rope, I see that it consists of three strands. They are wound so closely together that they make one rope. Father God, the Son of God and the Holy Spirit are so closely united that they're called one. They work in complete harmony with one another and they love one another so much. They all have different jobs. The Father is the one who plans all things. The Son is the one that the Father sent into the world to set us free from sin. And the Holy Spirit is the one that can be everywhere at the same time. And he brings people to the Father and to the Son. The Holy Spirit isn't a mystical force like that of a Jedi. He's a spirit, so you cannot see him, but he has a personality. He's like a megaphone that wakes up our conscience and says, look at how great God is. He's like a megaphone that says to us, look at Jesus, look at how wonderful he is. He's like a megaphone that says, be careful, that's sin. Stay away, it will hurt you. We can listen to the Holy Spirit's voice or ignore it. When we ignore him, it makes him sad because it stops him doing great things. The Holy Spirit doesn't want to take all the attention. He wants us to bring worship and praise to the Father and to the Son. And he's the one that helps us worship them. We often call the three of them working together the Trinity. This is a mixture of the words three, try, and unity, meaning together, Trinity. Now what does the Holy Spirit do? Let me introduce you to my friend Lemmy. Lemmy, Lemmy, come in here now. Hi, Sam. Come on, Lemmy, don't be shy. Oh, oh, hi, everybody. I'm Lemmy. Now, now, Lemmy's my puppet friend. Do you know, if the puppeteer didn't have their hand in Lemmy, he'd be lifeless. That's a bit rude, Sam. No, no, it's true, Lemmy. If someone took their hand out of you, you, you wouldn't be able to do anything. No, you... Sam, you wouldn't do that. Well, I would, to prove a point. Oh! Uh, <laughs> you see, Lemmy the Puppet is completely lifeless. He can't do anything unless someone makes him alive. This is a bit like the Holy Spirit. 
No one can live to be like Jesus or even really understand the life-changing message of the Bible without the Holy Spirit living in them. He comes to live inside a person when they come to believe in Jesus Christ as their saviour. And if he is then listened to and obeyed, he will help them to love Jesus more and transform them to be more like Jesus. Let's, um, let's just put some life back into Lemmy. Oh, oh, ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> I think I must have dropped off then. Uh, what were we saying? <laughs> Never mind, Lemmy. Um, Lemmy, will you help me with a song? It's um, going to help us understand something about God. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Well, okay. Well, so here are the words. The Father plans all things. The Son sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings help to me. It tells what each part of the Trinity do. We're going to teach people at home, Lemmy. And... There's a particular part for you, and people at home will be able to join in as they get used to the song. Now, I've got a part just for you, Lemmy. Here mm -hmm. it is. It goes like this. God is free in one, three in one, three in one. God is free in one, three in one, three in one. Oh, oh, okay, Sam. Let me have a go. God is free in one, free in one, free in one. That's it. That's is, good. Is that right? Here we go, let's try, let's give it a go. God is free in one, three in one, three in one. God is free in one, three in one. The sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings help to one. God is free in one, three in one. The sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings help to one. The God is free in one. The sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit. The sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the sun sets us free. The Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings the Holy Spirit brings help. Oh, that was that was smashing, Sam. I've I've got to go now, though, Sam. But bye, everybody. Bye. Now let's have a quiz now and see what things you can remember from today's teaching.
Let's pray together. One, two, three. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you have given to us. Thank you that you didn't leave us on our own when Jesus went to heaven. Thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray for each one watching today that they'll accept Jesus as their Saviour, that they'll trust in him and receive the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that your Holy Spirit tells us of the sin in our hearts and he tells us of our need of Jesus. Thank you that when he lives within us, he changes us to be more and more like Jesus. Please help us to listen to him. Help us to listen when he's prompting us, when he's, he's causing us to see our need of Jesus. Thank you for this time we've had together today. Help us to think through these things and come to love you more and more each day. We pray in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.